Welcome to this week's video and this week I'm showing some 3DS gameplay on the Ambernec RG406V. So I can't show you where to download the files but whilst you're in Citra all you need to do is click on the send tab and then click on install CIA so you need to save them somewhere on the device your SD card or the internal device and then search through where you save them and then it will install then you just need to go back to the main menu so all you'll need to do is click on this tab in the corner click on refresh library and then that will refresh it with any of the games that you've installed ready to play. So we'll get straight into the gameplay, so Mario Kart 7 to start with, I had a little look through, I hadn't used this before, so there's a few options if you wanted to change the screen to the side, I'm not sure why I'll change it back. Within the settings there is an option so you can adjust the screen, so you can have a much smaller top screen or a much larger bottom screen, it's entirely up to you how you want to customise it. So then we'll just get back into the gameplay, so I'll pick me character, pick me car, and then we'll start the game. So the emulator I'm using is the Citra. So the one that came pre-installed didn't actually work for me, so I had to go on Google, search for the latest version, and install the APK that way. And as you can see, the game plays really good, so I wasn't expecting. I accidentally pressed the joystick button, and that brought up the menu. So the, holding down the joystick button or pressing this center home button brings up the quick start settings menu so you just have to be careful what you do. But as you can see from the footage the game plays really good. It plays really well, there was no slowdown and I really enjoyed playing this on the Ambernic. So next up I tested New Super Mario Bros 2. All you need to do is hold down the right stick and that will rotate between screens that I found out. So everything seemed to be working okay, and then I loaded up the game. And then as you can see, there's no Mario, and there's no a couple of characters. So the game ran really well, there was no slowdown again, everything seemed to work. But I'm missing one of the main sprites. So I haven't done much more research into this, I'm sure there'll probably be a workaround. But at the moment, I'm just going to have to leave it, and I might come back to it in the future. Next up is Metroid, so I'll start with this up, and then as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It also plays quite well. Played this for a while and didn't really have any issues, so again, another game that I'd recommend if you're a fan. Next up Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, so this is where the issue started. So I was quite hopeful up to now thinking that every game was going to work. But then I started playing this and for some reason there was a lot of slowdown, there was a lot of glitching, there was a lot of stopping. So I'd never played this game before as you might be able to tell from the bad controlling. It'll play for a couple of seconds, then it'll freeze, then it'll play, then it'll freeze. It never really seemed to play smoothly, so I wasn't too impressed. So I realised there must have been some settings that might be able to change. So I had a quick Google, and I couldn't really see anything that stood out. So we just have to have a little look through the settings menu, which is on the home screen. So these are my settings. So if you have a little look at what I've got, and then I'll scroll down, I'll just keep going. And then at this setting near the bottom, this enabled audio stretching this wasn't enabled so i clicked on this one to hope that this was going to make a bit of a difference and now we'll go back to the game and as you can see it's now playing without any stuttering so there may be other things that you'll be able to adjust if, again if you go into more detail within the emulator but that was the one setting that i made from how it was pre-set up and then after that this game worked perfect as did the other games that i've tested so it's definitely worth adjusting that before you start onto a new game And then finally I had to play a Legend of Zelda game, so a Link Between Worlds, so again another nice looking game. This has been set up with the adjustment after the last one, and it seemed to work really well. So the graphics look good, the controls are really well, 
it's easy enough to save as you're playing and hopefully this is another game that's going to be able to work without any issues. So hopefully this video helped with your initial setup of 3DX gameplay within the RG406B. Thanks very much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.